Okay, I'd like to talk about the combat routines in my space game. Um, first, I want to show you the, the modifications I made to my ship diagram. I had to first upgrade the engine component to Mark III so it only takes two, two pods. That frees up the out, outer two pods down here on the bottom, at the back of the ship. And I installed a missile pod and an ECM pod. <clears throat> the ECM is uh, electronic countermeasures. It's intended to jam enemy missiles. And then at the top up here, first of all, I had to upgrade the systems component to Mark II, which is the minimum required for mounting uh, combat pods. And then I also bought a shield pod and a phaser pod. I'm going to call up the computer here and show you the ship status. <clears throat> You see, all these pods are um, either they're only they're only Mark One shield, Mark One uh, fuel uh, missile, and ECM. By the way, a change I made is uh, the systems component. If you upgrade to a Mark Four, it requires zero pods, which means that will free up that pod for something else. And on page two of this, you see I've added the ability to hire or purchase three androids. Uh, one's for the weapons officer, engineering officer, and ship's purser. They help out for, obviously, the weapons officer helps with the weapons, and the engineering officer will repair your ship over time. Otherwise, the only way you can repair it uh, is taking it to a dry dock. And the ship's purser increases the, uh, it gives you advantage when you're buying and selling. Right now, they're all just experience level one, so they're not very useful, but they gain experience as they go along, so having them on board uh, helps helps gain your experience. Okay. Now the way combat works now is uh, there are there are two systems in the game that are pirate systems. So if you didn't want to if you want to if you didn't want to engage in combat, you just want to do trading, or you want to get your ship improved, you can just avoid these two systems. Um, in order to, 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 to know which systems are pirates, it's now labeled on the uh, quadrant scan for the, your galaxy. You see, a bracketed P flags a pirate system. So this, this system, Arc, Arc, Archid, whatever, <laughs> is a pirate system. And if you scroll down, there's another one down here called Kajam. And you see, we're parked right outside of Ar Archid. Now, when I go to move over the star, you'll see it'll actually alert you, saying, uh, warning, pirate activity here, and asking if you want to proceed. And if I go, yes, <clears throat> we have, this, this animation can be turned off with the animation sequence on off command, by the way. Then we get a red alert. And we get the graphic of the uh, pirate ship, hailing frequencies open, yada yada. Attention, unknown ship. This is Captain Ubuk <laughs> of the Galactic Pirate League. You are in restricted space. Pay 100 credit extortion, or be destroyed with moderate enthusiasm. So our automated translator isn't perfect. Um, so you can either pay him 100, uh, 100 credits and proceed on your way, or you can go to battle stations. Or you can do an emergency hyper jump, which could damage your, probably will damage your ship. Um, the first thing you want to do, I think, is scan the enemy, see what you're up against. And there's some uh, variation, uh, the type of ship you will see. Okay, it's got a ship uh, integrity of 150. But, um, by the way, he's got one hull, so he's got with an integrity of 150, whereas we have 12 pods of 100 each. So... We're, we're, we could take more damage than he can. You have to, but it has to, the way it works is it has to destroy the outer pod, then it, then it works and destroys the inner pod, and finally it'll start destroying the frame or the keel. And if the keel goes, then your ship blows up. He's only tech level one, so he's not very strong. Power pool, you want to look at the power pool. That's how much energy he has to divert to shields and, and phasers, and how fast he can recover power. There, that's usually a 
a weakness on these pirate ships. They have a small power pool and not a, and they and they don't recover power very quickly. However, they usually have some very good missiles, so you want to watch out for them. Missiles don't, re don't require any power, and they have their own anti-jam ability, so whether or not we can jam them is going to be a big question mark. And you see the estimated missile kinetic energy is 30. That means uh, if, you hit, if you hit you with one, you can do 30, 30 to 40 damage. And he's got an ECM rating of 115. That's his ability to jam your missiles. Um, if you do status command, it'll give you your, the status of your, your ship. So your power reserve is usually better. You, you recover power faster. Uh, but your shield, we only got to mark one shield. You can, you can equip more than one shield pod if you want. For right now, we just have one, and it's pretty weak. Same thing with our energy weapon. It's only 30. Uh, we only, only have four missiles, and they only do a damage of 10, so they're pretty wimpy. So um, it's, it's going to be kind of a question mark who, who wins this. But let's go to battle stations. By the way, one thing I forgot to mention is, uh, let's go back to our status. Um, shields, if, if you use the shields, they, they drain power every single turn if you got a shield up. And, you know, we're pretty good. We're, we're only draining 25. Out of, we got a reserve of 200. Uh, energy weapons only drain power when you shoot, when you use them. And now you, uh, okay, anyway. So what, let's try shooting a missile. So I'm going to do, and by the way, here's a question mark for menu. Gives you, there's your commands. Missile fire, phaser fire. You can change your power settings if you want to, for instance, you, you think it's, his, his phaser is pretty wimpy. You can go ahead and turn your shield off. That would conserve power. And do a missile fire. And you get the missile away. You see it tracking there? And it, he tried to jam it, but it failed. So we're, we're going to hit. So we just did a damage assessment. So he's got in bob missile coming. And we jammed his. So we're in good shape there. Let's try another missile. We, got, we only got two left. Our missile got jammed. Missile phaser. Here he comes. Oh, he's firing phasers. And we blocked his phaser fire. <clears throat> uh, let's do another. I like to do missiles. Except he can. He's, he's got a good. He's got a good jammer. So that's kind of a lost cause. Uh oh, here he comes. He hit us. You see, pod H. Pod H had 33 damage. Um. Oh no, my iPod thinks I'm talking to it. Great. Anyway, uh, I think we've got one missile left. Okay, he f failed to jam it. Let's see how many missiles he's got left. Here he comes again. They hit our phasers for 37 damage. I'm going to see what shape his ship is in now. We only got them down to 120 integrity. That's not very good. Uh, if we got any missiles left, no missiles left. Okay, great. Well, let's try the phasers. They're pretty wimpy. Let's see what his power is. He's only he's only down to power of 15. So he, we can probably start hitting him with our phasers, and we can survive his missile attacks. Shield is that's his shield flashing. We did 18 damage. Uh oh, here he comes. <clears throat> Okay, hit the pot I for 31 damage. Let's do phasers again. How many missiles he got left? Let's let's figure out. We jammed it. Good. Oops, I must have hit the wrong button. We got him down to 85. He's got one missile left. If we can we once he gets rid of his missiles, I think we got him with the with the phasers because this. His recovery rate isn't very good. Phaser. 19 damage. Here comes the last missile. We jammed it. Okay. Phaser. 20. Just keep hitting him. You see, he's not even returning fire now because his power isn't... isn't uh, good. Let's see what power he's got. He doesn't have enough power to fire phasers because... <clears throat> yeah. He keeps, he keeps using the shield for his fifth shield blocks 15 hits, but it leaves, leaves him no power to fire phasers. 
What did he did to hit us? Just uh, anti jam. Estimated missile kinetic energy. Oh, I did. Okay, never mind. Sorry. Okay, I think we got him right where we want him. He blew up. So you got a little blow up graphic. See, when you when you destroy a pirates, you get a nice bounty from the Galactic Patrol. Plus, you can salvage parts from the ship. You do salvage, yes. Seven units of salvage. Basically, it fills up your cargo hold. And now we're back in, inside the star system. We can continue on to the pirate planet if we want. They buy and sell pretty much anything. Uh, anyway, I guess that's going to conclude this demonstration. Thank you for watching.